this is another kind of example as to why flipping DJs in general are just so disconnected to fucking reality. Absolutely love it, right? So for some reason on fucking DJ Techno Twitter, there was an entire crazy discourse and bunch of arguments happening, you know, all over the place about this one person deciding to tweet the following tweet which i thought was pretty harmless but for some reason it kind of really ragged people or rubbed people the wrong way and it was this tweet regarding um festivals and cdjs right really strange and bizarre why this kind of triggered people but this is a tweet this is from a person called rohan and they said idea festivals to have one cdj in the artist area green room for djs <laughs> to check if their usbs are working before a show now immediately 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 when you see this tweet you just think it's a shit post it's not that deep it's not that big of a deal but for some reason it really did flipping trigger people to write fucking op-eds in terms of why that is a bad idea and why it's destructive and harmful and about them shaking and feeling emotional and one example was of course this guy here who wrote an entire seven page thread on the whole issue which i'm going to read to you in a few other bits and responses as well so this person called esky one no esky i 83 on twitter says the following people complaining about the cdjs again and how buggy they became the reason is pretty simple even though this is not what this guy is talking about but anyway we continue pioneer dj is building every new cdj model based off of previous models and it goes like this for decades and they add new features on top of the code that exists already this is one out of seven <laughs> two out of seven imagining a painting that was done and perfect but then you add some more later on and on and on and on to sell as a new product it just gets messy so the code that is inside the players becomes bigger and bigger and some new code might introduce problems with some old code this is what is happening right now they need to start fresh but there's no reason for them to do so because their products sell out everywhere Try to buy CDJ 3000 now. You have to wait three months. So they believe their product is so good, they don't need to change. Four out of seven. The demand is high. And at the end of the day, it's about profit. Software development is expensive. So their building on was what they have to long maximum profit. Um, last but not least, when a new player is introduced, they ask the wrong DJs for feedback. So somehow he's blaming the DJs for this, which is just bizarre. There's also so, there's so many unbelievable stupid behavior on those players that can create so much trouble. Just look at how many many of the new features are being used on stage by big names almost zero the risk is high to train wreck because the sun behavior is unacceptable many cdj djs are making fun of djs using laptops with serato without understanding that dj software like serato is light years ahead of how software of cdj's is working it i just tried to I just tried to made the jump to USB only sets and it's such a step backwards. Many CDJ DJs are making fun of DJs. That are, oh, sorry, the easiest ways of things are not working expected. Um, that's why young people run into major problems when they play on CDJs for the first time because they are cheaper controller and the DJ software works actually better than the flagship product. So loads of fucking conversations all over the place. This guy was going on one. And then I guess the last response here I want to quickly check over is some of my favorites. Um, this feature to someone um, kind of taking a piss out of Scream it says Scream has barricaded himself into the green room and has taken the front of house engineer hostage um, according to local authorities the the incident stems from a disagreement concerning an extra CDJ that was backstage for the artists to check their USBs authorities have issued a shelter in place <laughs> Uh, and then of course you could always count on fucking Mikael to completely miss the point here um, Mikael sorry he says I'm late on the CDJ di techno Twitter di discourse as always but all I have to say is that I'd rather see a young DJ blowing my mind with music I've never heard played off a hundred dollar controller than what I hear these days from well functioning pre-checked USBs so of course this is just his way to kind of virtue signal and remind everybody that he has friends in Tanzania and shit congratulations get a pat on the back no one's actually speaking about that but hey we continue another one says here this is from scream himself who i had to fucking screenshot this because i went to go and check his twitter and discovered i was blocked by the fucking legendary scream for some reason i'm not too sure why but big up scream regardless i don't take that shit personally he said cunts want to argue about cdjs listen have backups mate no arguments really don't turn up assuming the festival is going to test your key 
take the fuck, get the fuck, sort yourselves out, right? So clearly, clearly weird reception and whatnot and discourse around the whole thing. But essentially, essentially, we can all say that this is incredibly redacted, right? Redacted with a capital R level. No festival needs to go out of their way to have a separate CDJ in the green room so DJs can check their USBs. If all DJs need to do to play nowadays and make thousands, hundreds of thousands sometimes on festivals and play in front of sold out crowds, crowds that they don't have to work for, if all they have to do is bring a CDJ and a pair of headphones and a fucking cable or whatever it may be or an adapter to plug into the mixer, if they can't even manage that, then they probably don't deserve to be playing on those stages, right? They probably don't take their job seriously enough and they probably should think about maybe a career change, maybe going to open a restaurant, maybe go start, start a sake brand, maybe go sell some overpriced merch. But if you can't be bothered to double check your USB to make sure it works, or if you can't be bothered to go there and do sound check, because I'm sure festivals would love it if DJs would come and do sound check. But I'm assuming most of them don't because they're either playing too many gigs in one day, they can't be bothered, they're nursing a hangover, they're smashing groupies in their hotel room, whatever they're doing they don't want to go there and do flipping sound check i'm sure most festivals especially the high you know the ones that have been running for a long time not the high-end ones but the ones that have been around for ages would love it if an artist and a dj would come along and do a sound check and double check their equipment but they don't they turn up there on the day and do what needs to be done and then they start complaining when shit doesn't work and especially some of them don't even turn up on time how many places have i been to club nights festivals where djs are running late for some reason they've had this in their flipping cat in in their you know in their schedule for a long 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 time they've knew ahead of time who they were playing where they were playing what time they were playing where the place was they don't make any kind of adjustments in their schedule and they turn up late and you there as a punter are there twiddling your thumbs with your jaw swinging from side to side waiting for your best teachers or your favorite teachers to come on and they arrive there late so these guys are clearly you know not the most um professional when it comes to this sort of thing the other side of things as well when it comes to this debate is that in general, from what I've seen, especially in the UK mostly, you are really fortunate if you go to a venue, let alone a festival, where they have any functioning gear for you to kind of use. It's a real toss of a coin to go to a bar or a club and them to have actual functioning equipment. It's just a kind of nature of the game i guess because so many people pass through their doors because maybe there's a lack of in-house technicians or because the equipment's so expensive they just can't afford to keep fixing things or whatever things work in a janky way many clubs you've seen i've seen nowadays where big you know big not well-known djs play at and the mixers don't even have any knobs in them and shit and they have to kind of turn shit with the whole metal stuff and kind of figure it out along the way or they have a really old mixer and really new flipping cdjs or one cdj works well the other one doesn't work well like i've played in many places where sometimes one deck the flipping um, pitch controller doesn't work so essentially you have to mix only on flipping one side and not the other those type of things happen on the daily so to expect a place a venue that doesn't have enough equipment to then go out and purchase more equipment just to put specifically in the green room is fucking hilarious to check cd to check fucking usbs especially when you think about it like you know most likely that cdj won't even be used to check the usb anyway it would just be used to fucking, you know, cut up fucking lines and shit or to crush pills. It won't even be used for what it actually is intended to be used for or be used as a prop to fucking take selfies in there and shit. And if you've been in green rooms, if you've been in artist areas and festivals and shit, you would know that they are fucking hazard zone. They're full of all sorts of nonsenses, people shitting themselves all over the area, pissing themselves, vomiting all over the place, you know, drug residue all over the place. You don't want electronics, especially an expensive CDJ that costs upwards of like 1500 just lying around you know there for flipping artists to test because what next do they just have one cdj in the corner in the fucking wall socket on the floor for you to test your usbs or do you then need a little mixer so that you can kind of double check the stuff is playing how much more do you want and then do you want maybe some headphones so basically what these djs want is a little mini record store in each green room like a little thing in the corner where you can kind of have some headphones tethered to the fucking wall with a little chain you can kind of listen to your tunes and check and then go and play this if anything is another example as to why djing is like the lowest no, on the lowest rung of the entertainment sort of like left you know on the music industry in general in terms of an artistry because the flipping bar of entry is super low and generally the people who are doing it professionally they don't take it that seriously they do the bare minimum and expect the most out of it 
So most of them aren't even preparing new records to play. They're not even digging for records. They're not they're not practicing their flipping mixing. They're not I don't know listening and listening to other mixes, watching other people play to get new techniques. Nah, whatever they whatever worked in Bogota is gonna work in Prague. Whatever worked in Prague is work work in Paris. Whatever worked in Paris is gonna work in London, and we just keep it moving. So for them to expect festivals to go above and beyond to cater for their lack of preparedness is legitimately LOL levels. LOL levels, especially when you can say, like I said, most places don't even have good gear for the big high level people to play on a regular. Sven Varkas sometimes turn up to a place and the turntables haven't been flipping, you know, um, set up in the right way. And then you're expecting that same place to have a, a spare turntable somewhere in the fucking green room. I fucking despair sometimes with these people. I fucking despair. But the other side of the conversation about, you know, um, gear in general is interesting because I feel like it is of a, another kind of example as to, you know, the the attention being placed on the wrong things because in general if you have good taste and shit it doesn't matter what level of equipment you're playing on you should be able to fucking dup your set and the fact that people rely so heavily on fx they rely so heavily on a particular model of a cdj to work in order for them to have a good performance that just goes to show that usually the level of flipping skill of djs out there now at the moment isn't the greatest and generally everybody is kind of phoning in a little bit that's why they kind of desire those things so much because they know if they have to kind of be left to their own devices and they've got no one else to kind of count on that's what generally ends up happening so i think the whole conversation around it is redacted and also goes to prove these motherfuckers man they're all professionals they should be out there crate digging and researching and whatnot instead they're on flipping social media arguing about fucking cdjs it goes to prove that most of these fucking cunts aren't practicing aren't doing what they should be doing and essentially you're being absolutely slighted out there with some of the prices clubs are charging to see these guys play when the first thing they're worried about is fucking cdjs instead of actually crate digging or making some new tunes but hey what do i know